Good frozen morning from our homestead. This is very unusual for us. I'm teaching my daughter the art of layering because it is 24 out here right now and tonight it'll be 10 and then tomorrow it'll be 21 during the day and then tomorrow night four degrees. So we're not gonna break our record I don't think. We'll see how the weather goes because they said it was supposed to snow a lot but right now it's just kind of like this sleet it's pretty nasty but we've got our greenhouse we're gonna go check out the greenhouse over here see how the citrus are doing i've got a propane heater in there um the garden is destroyed right now <laughs> i will see how the garlic holds up it should be fine and we've got our chickens i can hear the chickens birds do fine in this kind of weather uh we've got over here the well house i still have the water on and i've insulated it really well this year uh, but yeah i am just not a hundred percent confident that it's going to be good for <laughs> for um four degrees so i may shut off and drain the water for a day or two we'll see what happens with that the chickens are going to have plenty of water their five gallon bucket is completely full it's got a float valve on it so it's completely full and they don't drink that much. So five gallon bucket for seven chickens, they're gonna to be totally fine for a couple of days. Let's get these frozen cats something to eat here. Hi kitty! Hi. And you probably didn't notice I was towing behind me my kid's wagon. We're gonna load that up full of firewood because we've already burned through two of those black buckets. Now I know that's not a lot for y'all in the north, but for us here, in the south, that is a lot of firewood to burn through already. Look at my camera's already getting fogged up. What you got there? An icicle. Is that the first time you've ever seen an icicle? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. The leaf is frozen. <laughs> yeah. Step over here, it's icy. What you got there for the chicken? I got some scraps. Some scraps? Good. All right. Their poop is ice cold. Frozen poop? Ew! Okay. Yeah! Here, girls. Frozen poop. Here, girls. I know you like that. She's running back inside, everyone. You'll have to excuse the lens, friends, because it's like sleeting nastiness out here. My girl already ran inside. She's a native Texan. <laughs> Both my girls are native Texans. I'm from Michigan. I grew up in Michigan, so I'm used to this weather. Although, I've gotten a little soft living in Texas uh, for 10 years now. But my wife's from the Philippines. She's definitely not coming outside. And so, But I have a lot of things to do out here today because, like I said, I'm not confident in the water. So I, I'm really hoping, I'm just gonna shut it off now. I'm not confident in it at all. Uh, I know I did a decent job of insulating that well house over there and I wrapped the tank and I wrapped all the pipes, but just wrapping those pipes in insulation, that's like three quarters of an inch, th inch thick is, uh, is not gonna do much, honestly, when it's this cold outside, especially when it's like four. That's just, it's not gonna cut it. Um, and as you saw earlier in the year, I actually built these little insulated boxes around all my spigots, around all the entire property, because they were every year, or everywhere from the previous, uh, or two owners ago. And I'm just not, not totally confident that those, it's only got one inch of uh, rigid foam insulation in it, so I'm, I'm really not confident in that either. But also, I've got to wrap the other fig trees. I wrapped one and you saw that, but I never got around to wrapping the other ones. That's just, I don't know. I hope they, they make it, but the cool thing is here, we'll go to the greenhouse first because before I get the, the firewood and all that, we're gonna walk over to the greenhouse. I've got a propane heater in there. My little makeshift greenhouse and I think it's keeping the temperature up. I've got a little Bluetooth monitor, uh, thermometer in there, and it's doing a pretty decent job. I think it got down to 20, 27, but the temperature's falling right now too. So 
it's very odd um it's not going to warm up today at all oh we got these <laughs> these little um fruit trees here from grower solution they were kind enough to send those to us and the same people that we got our greenhouse from the greenhouse is gonna go on this area right here as you can see i got 50 yards of dirt uh, dumped in here and i've been flattening it and leveling it because my property actually slopes down quite a bit right here you can see in the corner how big of it of a uh, difference in elevation this is Probably at least two, two and a half feet from that edge to that edge over there. So we're making a nice level spot because this is really the last spot clear of trees that's going to get the proper sun for a greenhouse. So it's really got to go right here. Essentially where my other greenhouse is, I've got to take that down. But obviously I can't do it right now because I have no other place to put what's in there <laughs> i've got no other place to put the citrus trees they've got to stay in this little makeshift greenhouse that i made and ooh, it looks like it's nice and warm let's go in and check it out oh look at this gorgeous gorgeous it is 46 Ooh, that fogged up yeah it's 46 you'll have to excuse the camera I don't know if you can see that on camera. You can't even see me on the camera anymore. I've got one of these little Mr. Heater propane deals right here, and it kept it a really good temperature in here last night. I think I monitored it at probably two or three o'clock in the morning when I was up feeding the fire. Hold on, I gotta clean off this lens. So as I was saying, I was monitoring it at about two or three o'clock. I think it was three o'clock in the morning when I was feeding the fire and uh, it did a good job and kept it at about 39 degrees. So that's good. The all the citrus plants or citrus trees, you can see this one has flowers on it and is still alive. I'm fogging up again, guys. Totally sorry, but uh, that's the way it is when you're filming outside when it's crazy cold like this. Hopefully we can keep this running. I think I'm gonna shut it off now and save some propane. I honestly have never run this thing full blast. Actually, it's on low, it's on low out of the high setting. Three settings, it's on the low setting, um, low, medium, high. I've never run this uh, for an extended period of time, only for a few hours overnight. So I think I'm gonna conserve my propane because I think the stores are just kind of blown through all their propane right now. Everybody's really, really cold and trying to uh, shore up their own defenses, I guess you could say. Look at you, icy dog. What are you doing, ice dog? You should be in your your house. You gotta go in your house. You're all, you're gonna be really wet. Ice dog, look at you. You're all iced up. You're all iced up. Go in your house and get warm, buddy. We're going into the well house. Mm. Well, everything looks okay. There's no leaks that have sprung. That's a huge blessing. Really big blessing. So, maybe I'll leave it. No, uh, I'm being indecisive on it because this is so unusual. All right, time to get some firewood because I can't believe I blew through that much firewood. But what a huge blessing that we were able to buy the firewood that we bought. However, it is still a little green. I think I mentioned to you, ooh, my lights are too cold out here. The only two lights I have are the ones that I replaced that ballast. Sorry for the camera. Uh, I replaced the ballast with an electronic ballast because magnetic ballasts do not work in these temperatures they actually don't work below 50 degrees which is pretty ridiculous um, so I have to replace the rest of the fixtures with electronic ballasts I actually did a video on that for these specific luminaires and you can go check that out at the top of the screen so if you didn't see my video about how to check if you're getting ripped off with firewood go check that out because that's important and it also talks about moisture content in wood 
And although I was told that this was seasoned firewood, it is not. The log was laying on the ground for eight months, which is a proper amount of time to season something. But it wasn't cut up, it wasn't split. So seasoned firewood is split already. And then it's all dried out, especially the center of that log. But unfortunately, the center of these logs, they were split like a day before uh, I bought it. So it, the moisture content was too high. So it's not, it's not green wood. It's not just fallen green wood, but it is still too high. It smokes a little bit. Um, I did chop some up uh, that I had from earlier, and that's been like fueling the fire and keeping it hot so the other stuff kind of dries out and does burn. Some of it does smolder. So be careful of that when you are buying firewood. I don't know if you remember our firewood jig video, but I've got a wood stove that's so small, I can't fit a normal 16 inch piece of firewood in it. I've got to chop them down to get them in there. So we've got a decent amount cut down to about a foot to 13 inches, give or take. Those get in the door and I can turn them. So <laughs> I hope I don't have to run out here with a chainsaw again and cut up some firewood in the next week, but I might have to. So of course, when cutting down the firewood so it fits in there, I've got a whole bunch of little chunks left over as well. It's nice because I can throw a whole bunch of these right into that hot fire and pack them in there really tight. It works pretty well. Yeah, a kid's wagon and some big buckets. That's how I take my firewood to the house. It's only about 100 yards from our barn to our house. No big deal, <laughs> but I don't have any fancy equipment like a lot of people, no uh, mule or anything like that. So use what you got. So before I go and wrap those figs, I'm actually gonna have to go feed the fire in the house because that small stove we have, not only does it not accommodate normal pieces of firewood, it doesn't hold much. So it's rated for a thousand square feet, um, but it just doesn't hold much. It burns through whatever you put in there, even solid seasoned uh, oak that we have down here, it burns through it in about two hours. I don't know how long I'm gonna be out here with this camera, guys. This is not snow. This is more freezing rain, and it's gonna get about to get real dangerous because it's really sticking on the ground now. The freezing rain we had a couple of days ago that's still up in the trees uh, never stuck to the ground because the ground was warm, but now things are getting so cold that the ground is cooling off and starting to get icy down here. Here's another issue we have. I am so thankful to the Lord that I was moved to put in that wood stove, uh, was it a year and a half ago or so? Because this, if you can see behind me, that's my air conditioning condenser unit, and it is completely iced over. So in the south, we have what's called a heat pump. It's basically to heat your home in the winter. It's a reverse air conditioning. So it just works essentially in reverse. That's the easiest way to describe it. But they do not work well in weather this cold. Uh, below 32 degrees. Below freezing, they, they are terrible. And this happens to them, they ice over. So I'm on what they call emergency heat, which is basically little um, toaster oven heating element strips that are inside of the unit inside, and that's blowing out uh, warmish air. But I actually don't think they're working well at all. They're honestly not working well because there's there's cool air coming out. Now I'm keeping the house at about 71 and that is only because I have that wood stove firing full force 
24 7 over the last two days or so now i know i know you friends up in the north up in minnesota especially like international falls that is insanely cold up there was it negative 25 i think i saw earlier i was looking uh, because i was looking where my brother is up in wyoming it's only like negative five but you guys in Minnesota, I know you get hit really hard. So I'm not complaining, just giving you the realities of what happens down here in Texas when things like this happen, which are unusual. So it's very unusual for this type of weather and things freeze up. They get out of, uh, <laughs> the ecosystem is out of balance and things like frozen up condenser units happen. So I'm actually worried about some friends of mine who uh, don't have wood stoves, they just have these. So I think before I wrap my figs up today, I'm going to go get my flame weeding torch and warm up the condenser unit a bit and unfreeze it. It's amazing how much work just pops up in front of you on a homestead, depending on how the weather is, right? And again, I apologize about the camera, but this freezing rain is hitting that lens and there's, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. Actually, I'm gonna get the camera out of the rain right now for a few minutes and dry it off before I go back and do that. All right, boop. Well, I got all the figs covered up. It took a few minutes, no big deal. It's still freezing rain sleet for a minute. It was like little ice balls. <laughs> it's crazy weather here in East Texas. The normal temperature for this time of year is 65 degrees and it's 25 right now. Pretty nuts. So none of these jobs I had planned for today. Today I was going to shoot the other video for y'all about repairing the shower, uh, part two in the series, but I don't think that's gonna happen. There's just way too many things going on out here right now to take care of and you know kind of shore up because of this uh, nasty ice and uh, freezing crazy temperature so hey that's cool you always got to switch gears on your homestead whatever is happening you got to switch gears and take care of what needs taken care of first before you continue on with the regular jobs i don't know if you can see it up there but i had to get my old explorer going again because it's the only vehicle we have with four-wheel drive and it's supposed to be nasty snow uh, and my wife has to go to work she's a nurse she's got to get to the hospital so we got to get her there no matter what so i hope you all stay warm get your wood stoves fired up we're going to be delaying our planting obviously we dropped a seed starting video today you won't see this for a few days but we dropped that today today is sunday um and hopefully, oh no, by the time you see this video, it's gonna be even worse out here. So we'll show you what's going on on the homestead. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.